Okay, so we might have done this in a slightly strange order because it's 10 o'clock here in Sweden. However, this is the beginning of a very special journey because we're in Helsingborg, just down the road from Angleholm for the annual Koenigsegg dealer conference. I mean, in what world, in what world would I have ever imagined finding myself at the Koenigsegg dealer conference as an official dealer? Absolutely bonkers. So we've got the uh, Koenigsegg London team here with us. And tomorrow, when we head over to the factory, I'm going to take you along for as much of the dealer conference as I can, uh, or at least it makes sense. Look at this, Koenigsegg goodie bag. Yes, Koenigsegg grilled ruffles. Literally, Koenigsegg crisps. What else do we have in here? Koenigsegg water. How fabulously on brand. What is this? Wow, future tech. Koenigsegg beer. Future tech, look, look at that, Koenigsegg lager. Let's have a look, what else we have? Oh, lots of Koenigsegg. I think these are little, what are these? Looks like some Koenigsegg sweets. Anyway, they're going all out on the branding and the experience. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you because that's kind of what the channel is all about, all of the unshared little things. And um, tomorrow morning, we're going to be rising early, heading over to Angleholm, and I, I have no idea what to expect. I've obviously never been to a Koenigsegg dealer conference before. So I'm going to take you along firsthand as it unfolds as to what that's like. And as far as I'm aware, it's never been shared. So that should be cool. Come on, you really thought I was going to do that to you? What do Koenigsegg crisps taste like? Mmm, really. Really fast. This place we call Erdalen. And this is a new addition to our infrastructure. Uh, here we have half of the two-seater line. We have pre-assemblies like harness manufacturing and other pre-assemblies. We have our central warehouse and we also have our after sales department here and some office space. So we will take you for a short tour here. Feels kind of weird being here as a dealer. I've got to be honest with you. <laughs> Normally walking around here filming. Filming cars. It's quite cool because they've um, they've asked the permissions of the various owners of these cars if they're okay to be on show because obviously lots of people with camera phones here. The last time I walked through here, there were so many cars that we couldn't show. So it's nice to have a bit of free reign and not only be able to share and show the cars, but rock up and have a coffee pretty pretty special look at this here that's serious isn't it also someone's been having some fun you know it's good when the titanium turns purple so this line here um this is kind of where they uh, service and do upgrades and recondition the previous generation cars whereas next door it's kind of all about uh, Yesco assembly line. Very special kit. Look at this one. Look at the fleck in the in the clear coat of that. <laughs> yeah, these guys are doing things totally differently. I would say over the last sort of three years, like Koenigsegg as a brand is just j, j curved. It's, um, they've done an amazing job for the first, you know, first. 18, 17, 18 years, but all of a sudden, what's happening with the new facility, new factory, new products coming online? Uh, I think by the time this video goes out, there'll be some pretty substantial news about Jumeirah, but just in case there isn't, I shall hold off until now. But um, yeah, as far as behind the scenes on the channel goes, I never thought I'd be bringing you this content, and this is normally the kind of stuff that we wouldn't film, weirdly. Um, because it's, yeah, ultimately, while it's a, a good day, it's a fairly serious day. Uh, and it's our, our first time representing over here as Koenigsegg London. So this is a, a very candid behind the scenes take on what it's like to be at a Koenigsegg dealer conference. And as I mentioned from the start, I'm not sure this is a, something that's ever been shared, actually. Wow. This gives you an appreciation for just how much work is involved in these things. Look at it. <laughs> of course, this is a 
development car, but uh, ultimately the amount of cabling and wiring is fairly representative of what goes on underneath a Camaro. The big news, however, is what's going on in there. So everyone's gathering around the back of the car. Um, I'm not sure when I can put this out, but basically, um, Jamara's going to have a Yesco V8 in it, and we'll be doing a proper video on that soon. So this is what a 3,000 horsepower dyno looks like. Uh, it's actually an entire room. Look at all of this. All of this is power and servers to deal with 3,000 horsepower. <laughs> it's just unreal. Look at all of the, all of the extraction, and you'll see as well. It's not a rolling road. This is directly on. The drive so obviously Koenigsegg are pushing boundaries with electrification as well hybridization as it were so massive amounts of torque never mind horsepower pretty substantial setup to deal with Koenigsegg power in fact this is probably the most representative thing I've seen as to how much power a Koenigsegg has that they have to have a room dedicated to measuring the power all right this is the one CC850 this is the one that melted people's minds when it launched back at car week in August the manual auto or auto manual depending on which way you want to approach it but for anyone who's just tuning in now what this is is the world's first manual gearbox that can also be actuated as a complete automatic so if you push the gear selector over to the far right it then becomes a fully automatic car but when i say manual yeah three pedals actual clutch so it's not a disguised manual it is a real open gated three pedaled manual with fully automatic mode if you push that over to the far right and look at the detail on on the gauges this is a truly special car it's ultimately sort of built on the yesco platform so imagine it as a a manual yesco driving experience so 80 regera ever made and this wall is a model that represents every car and every spec made uh, you might recognize this one <laughs> this is Darren's, this one's on the channel, and we also have, sorry buddy, uh, this one here, too. that one as well. <laughs> it's very, very cool, but look at all the cars, all of the specs, really early subscribers of the channel may remember that one. <laughs> it's just like a trip down memory lane here. Here we've got a Yesco dashboard, casually hanging around. Just forget just how much carbon componentry there is on pretty much every piece and that then sits over the top endless check this out if there was any doubt when yeskos were arriving right now it seems they are really starting to roll these cars out should be seeing these live in the wild very very soon so this area here is the the, the brand new sort of informal hangout area i'm not sure you'd quite call it a canteen as such well way cooler than that but it's a sort of communal hangout spot uh we've been here when the team's on lunch and it feels like this sort of university campus experience it's uh it's very cool and look all around there are example specs of cars that they've built <laughs> pretty much everywhere so as a team space who wouldn't want to work here hey and of course they've got the token football machine. <laughs> I mean, what workplace would be complete without one? <laughs> Check this out. So I've got the feeling that is somewhat of a helicopter landing pad, <laughs> but instead of an H, there is the ghost squadron symbol being painted while we're here. Right here, right now, ghost squadron symbol painted on the helipad. <laughs> and behold, now this is something I've been dying to share with you for a long time. We've been up to the new factory a, a few times recently, but um, they've respectfully asked that we haven't shared it until now. So we're going to take you inside the doors of the brand new Koenigsegg factory. Right, check this out for a door. Oh, how cool is this? Oh, I'm not going to edit that out because that's, that's what the behind the scenes video is all about. We're gonna take that again. <laughs> and action. <laughs> there you go, hey! <laughs> Thanks. Uh, wow. <laughs> take my word for it, it's smooth when it does work. Something I've been wanting to share for a long, long time. This. Jamara configurator. Finally. Look at the size of it as well. This is so cool. So I believe 
could be wrong, but I believe Koenigsegg worked with Unreal, as in the Unreal graphics engine, to develop this. So as far as intricacies and details go, it is pretty extensive. There. So, now there is the Yesco V8 option. It's effectively, you can think of this as a four-seater Yesco with 2,300 horsepower. <laughs> Just an upgrade. Um, but as a result, look at the difference over the rear now. I mean, it's serious. And there's also, this is the first time that I've seen the wing option. Um, no doubt that's possibly a optional upgrade if you go for the ghost pack, perhaps. Or it might just come with the V8 option rather than the, the three cylinder option. The wing sizes grow. <laughs> that's, there's wings and then there's that. So it really is beginning to become a sort of four seater Yesco. I mean, there's proper aero there. Serious piece of kit. There you go. You can see the wing shrink and grow. <laughs> that is the Ghost Pack Aero there. And that is the, dare I say it, standard wing, which is still pretty substantial. And then Ghost Pack wing, huge, big, big difference. Oof, there's an angle. Crikey, look at that thing. So the various different options that you can choose through. Obviously exterior, interior options, but emblems, wheels, stripes, inlays, pretty endless. That's an option with stripes. All right, now we're in interior of the car. Obviously exterior is phenomenal, but I think the car is probably defined by the fact that it has four seats and is over 2,000 horsepower. The exposed carbon stripes, cool. So this is the uh, flick between ghost pack and non ghost pack car. As soon as you see ghost pack, there's no going back. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> All right, check out the atrium. So I think there's around about 5,000 real living plants on this wall. Check it out. Pretty impressive, the scale of it. And through here is a sort of chef's kitchen equivalent of what looks to be engine construction room, engine building room. Part of the brand new factory with these sorts of engines being built here and a casual yesco attack hanging around in the, the new h room fantastic to be able to finally show this place they've been they've been working on it for a long long time we couldn't share it the last time we were here because it wasn't completed but as far as company and brand evolution goes hell of a space you are sitting comfortably because now we would like to um, share a few more highlights of what's been happening here at Koenigsegg. Um, let's start the presentation. So this is inside the main segment of the brand new factory. Now I'm showing you this because I've just sat through a technical briefing and conference uh, that outlines some of the future of Koenigsegg and the uh, updates on Jumeirah, if I can put it that way. As I said, I'm not sure when this video is going out, but I can't share any of it. So I thought I'd come and show you an, an almost empty space as to where said Jumeirahs will eventually be built. It was absolutely beautiful. And this here is effectively a massive, massive part of the future of Koenigseggs. I think uh, proposed output from here at full capacity is 150 cars a year, just from this building. And of course they've got two other buildings, so. The scale of it though, I hope the camera's doing it justice. Even the CI, the corporate identity of the um, tool unit and the ramps, everything is very on brand. So look at these, pre-delivery testing, bespoke parts fitting. Yeah, it's a truly, truly special place. I can't <laughs> wait to come back in here once there's Jumeirah's on that line. I also can't wait to share with you what I've just seen in that room that I'm frustratingly not allowed to share with you just yet.
<laughs> and then here's the factory from a slightly different perspective up on the mezzanine floor to give you an idea of the remarkable scale of where Jumeirah is going to be produced. Look at this place. I mean, it really is like Apple went into cars. <laughs> it's just the most amazing, amazing thing. I think the most incredible thing is to, to have been really fortunate to have documented some of this amazing journey um, over the last sort of six or seven years and to see what they've achieved in the last, particularly the last sort of three or four years. I've never seen a J-curve like it. This, this colossal timeline down here is actually quite fascinating, but I think one of the most fascinating things, founded in 94, and then it actually took all the way till 2000 to start pre-production of what became CC8S. So the first production car was O2, and it was founded in 94. And if you think about the sort of, you know, 20 plus year history of the brand, the amount of work that was done in this time or that that time period has set such an incredible foundation to get to the actual production cars. And then funnily enough, from there, world records a go-go. Okay, look at this. World record here, record there. <laughs> it's the world's first green supercar. Crazy. Another record here, another record there. I mean, just groundbreaking from the early days. Right then, we've just uh, made our way to the, well, what is effectively the iconic Koenigsegg runway. I'm trying to judge the best place to go here because we've got a crowd of people that are about to watch all of these cars send it up the runway. This is gonna be pretty special. rest of the dealers around the world that's just truly spectacular also how amazing does Yesco look in this metallic blue phenomenal machine the packaging of that is crazy notice how the gearbox sits behind the wheel line I don't know of any other car that does that most gearboxes have the, the transmission hanging out way out back this is packaging exercise is phenomenal And this, casually, is the actual Koenigsegg Regera that just set the world record for zero 
so 400 kilometers an hour and back to zero again in very little over 28 seconds. 28 seconds. These guys do it different. Aldora is just sharing that these two guys are both world record drunk drivers for Koenigsegg. We can barely hear it because we're stood next to a turned on Regera here. <laughs> Absolutely never thought that would happen. I mean, just in my lifetime. Like, part of the Koenigsegg family. Absolutely berserk. Berserk moment. Thank you, uh, thank you everyone down the length for the support. Biggest thank you to Koenig Egg and the Koenig Egg team. Um, yeah, we've got a, a really special bunch of people here that we're now uh, working alongside around the world. That's one of the most beautiful things about the Koenig Egg dealership family is that we're all in it together. We're all helping each other out, which is really unique in the automotive. Industry. It's really nice to be able to speak to. I met a dealer from Hong Kong, which was amazing. Appreciated, but on a personal level, really enjoying it. Really, really enjoying this, this super informal process, and we can share stuff that we otherwise wouldn't have been sharing on the main channel. So, uh, thanks for your support so far. See you on the next one.